Malachi Morgare was nothing less than a saint. But despite his faith in the mercy of God, he was forced to bear witness to a terrifying vision of divine wrath, a biblical apocalypse that he predicted would occur in our time. Malachi Morgare was the first Irish saint to be canonized by a pope. He was known to, to have some supernatural miracles associated with him. He's most famous now for his prophecy of the popes. In 1139, Malachi made a pilgrimage to Rome to visit the pope. While ascending one of the city's fabled seven hills, he was struck by a revelation from God. And the story goes that he fell into a trance all that night. He would mention these Latin phrases. Di meditate lune, flows florum, pastor et nautua, di labora solis. Each one of these Latin phrases would match up to the reign of a particular pope. And in that vision, he saw 112 popes up until the tribulation time, till the end. And according to St. Malachi's prediction, this end time, following the reign of the 112th Pope, is right around the corner. We're at 111 now. Pope Benedict XVI is 111. If Malachi's vision was true prophecy, there will be only one more Pope to follow Benedict XVI, who turned 85 in 2012. In other words, our time may be running out. But why should we believe him? Malachi didn't just predict the number of popes before the end of the world. He also predicted who they would be with startling precision. And what you find is an accuracy, I would say, that exceeds 80%, which I can tell you that got me fascinated by these prophecies and that he's one of the greatest prophets I've ever encountered. And what makes it amazing is he gets more accurate as he gets to the end of the list. In fact, some of the ones more recently are quite astonishing. You have Benedict XV, who's called by Malachi, religio depopulata, which means religion devastated or depopulated. In his reign, the Christian faith was decimated. 25 million people dying from World War I. It's also the time of the Bolshevik Revolution in Russia. And scholars say that 200 million left the Russian Orthodox Church to join the Communist Party. Religion depopulated. After him comes the papal giant, John Paul II, who is called De Labora Solis, which means the sun's labor through eclipse. He was born in 1920 on a total eclipse. Then when he died, he was actually buried during a solar eclipse as well. Obviously, people can't manipulate eclipses, so apparently Malachi really did see a vision of the future, and it would, it, you would have to be divinely inspired, I would say, for it to, to match that accurately. That seems to be a little more than coincidence. Malachi's prophetic precision continues with the current pope, Benedict the 16th. Number 111, the final numbered motto, and that is de gloria olive, the glory of the olive, or from the glory of the olive. There is a group of Benedictines called the Olivetans. Their symbol is the olive branch. The glory of the olive would be the highest ranking among them, and there he is. We thought, Malachi's correct again, and now there's only one more pope in the line. We are very close to the end of this prophecy. 